Hey, welcome back to EMP Cycle Works. Today we're working on a 2015 Street Glide. Uh, we're going to be putting on a, a header pipe from Bassani. Um, basically, a stock style header pipe that gets rid of the catalytic converter so we can get a little bit more of um, that Harley exhaust sound out of this exhaust. Uh, it already has slip ons from SS and it has a Jim's Performance V Twin cam in it. So, we're going to try to get a little bit more, more of that aggressive sound out of it. So. Um, is in my normal setup here. I'm working out of my garage. Um, Hurricane Ian still has my shop kind of un unworkable. There's no waterproofing really in the roof to speak of at all. So, um, and being in Florida, it's been raining a lot. So it's kind of uh, impossible to get any work done from it, out of the shop. So, thanks for joining me, and let's get to this. comparison here, um, see how this thing sounds before the uh, head pipe we install. It really doesn't sound bad, let's see what the, uh, the head pipe will sound like, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. All right, first step is to remove the saddlebags. First the right one here, and then I'll we'll do the left. And then it's very important to disconnect the O2 sensors before we get too far. Fish them out through the bottom uh, where they attach to the collector pipe here. Um, then next step is to get the floorboard removed. And then the heat shields. Uh, starting with the collector heat shield, and I'll do the rear and then the front heat shield. And now I'll go ahead and get, get rid of the exhaust flange nuts. Uh, front and rear. And then the bracket bolt, that um, the transmission bracket bolt we need to get rid of um, helps if you hold the top of it so you can take off the, uh, the nut. And then we'll loosen up the crossover clamp, which is a 15 millimeter, which is kind of odd. But, and then go ahead and zip off the muffler bolts and separate the crossover pipe. Same thing with the right pipe. I'll go ahead and take this off all as one. Now, as I did this, I should have removed the mufflers from the crossover pipes. Um, it would have been a lot easier to get them off. I kind of had to struggle with with the mufflers off the bike, I had no leverage. So here we are removing the exhaust flanges. Uh, those little snap rings you gotta remove first and then the flange will come right off and you wanna save these because they need to be reused. Now these O2 sensors were ended up being seized into the collector pipe here. Um, tried using a hammer, they just weren't coming off. Uh, luckily I have another set, so good to go there. Got the header pipe unboxed, um, get it out of the plastic, and we'll start assembling it. So we'll put the flanges on first, and then the snap rings. Now the flange has a little uh, groove machined into it that covers the snap ring and kind of locks it in place so it can't come out. So do the front and then the rear here. And sometimes they're a bit of a pain to get on. You just kind of got to spread them apart and, and work it on. Now this header pipe comes with uh, two sets of O2 bungs, one for wideband O2s up towards the top, towards the cylinder heads, and then the stock ones that go down by the collector. Uh, so very important to put anti-seize on this. This is probably why the original O2 sensors didn't want to come out because there was not anti-seize um, installed from the factory. So very important. And you just torque them hand tight. Uh, no, nothing crazy. 
and then installing the new O2 sensor, same thing. You put uh, anti-seize on it so that if we ever want to remove them, they will come out. And I take my flare nut wrenches and uh, tighten them down. Again, just a little bit of torque. Don't, we don't want to go crazy. We don't want to break them, but we also don't want them to come out. And now we install it. So just carefully get it in the cylinder head. Don't want to scratch the head or the frame. And make sure the O2 sensors the wires are routed under the bike. Uh, we'll deal with them later. It's a lot easier to deal with that now. Get them under the bike. And then I'm gonna loosely put the exhaust flange nuts on, front and rear. Definitely don't wanna tighten anything down at this point. I'm gonna get all the exhaust nuts and bolts and clamps just loose, loosely attached. And then at the end, we'll tighten everything down. Sometimes the it's a little bit tricky to get the the flange over the stud. I just got to kind of rock the exhaust and push it with your finger. And uh, if it's close, it'll go in eventually. But you just def definitely don't want to force it. You don't want to use any kind of tools. And now I'll get the transmission bracket bolt in. And again, just start it. I don't want any kind of torque here. Now this new exhaust cr uh, pipe comes with this uh, lower transmission bracket here and I have these little snap-on ball end bits that I have that I purchased a, a little um, adapter that goes on a 7 16 so I can use my ratcheting wrench and these little ball end bits and I have lots of clearance to get this out by the tire. So I don't have to. I don't have to remove the tire. Um, these things save my save the day a lot of times. So installing the new bracket, the bolts get blue Loctite. I'll start them with my hand, and then same thing. I don't want to tighten anything. I just want to get them started with my little uh, wrench here. And then I'll go ahead and install the crossover pipe. Just fit it down on. And then I want to start the the, ho the clamp here, which is kind of difficult because the the clamp's like a spring clamp, and it doesn't. It's it's kind of hard to hold and get this uh, the bolt in. But it's very important not to cross thread this bolt. So you want to get it started with your fingers, and then I'll just make sure it's good with the wrench. But I, again, I don't want to tighten anything. So slip on the muffler. The right side muffler. Uh, what I'm looking for here is for the bolt holes to, to line up with the existing bracket. So I use a little bit of red Loctite and again just start these with my hand. I don't need to tighten anything down at all or even snug them. And then same thing uh, attaching the, the left side muffler. I want to use the the stock bracket there to line up my holes and make sure that the muffler's close close to where it needs to be or close to where it was. That way I don't have to worry about the alignment. Now I can start tightening everything and now we start at the cylinder head. The exhaust flange nuts are where I start and I go evenly on each one, uh, each side of the exhaust flange. Um, start with the front or the rear, it doesn't, doesn't matter too much but just make sure you, you tighten it down evenly. This is kind of just showing me going evenly here. And the, the best tool I found to do this is a little snap-on swivel socket that's a quarter inch drive and it's a 12 point, it's a half inch 12 point. Um, it seems to work the best with uh, Harley studs and get in there and there's a little hole in the middle of it so the stud will actually pass through, uh, real nice. So again, with the front, just tighten it evenly. And then I'll tighten the transmission bracket and then the exhaust flange 
or excuse me, the, the muffler bolts. And then I'll go ahead and tighten the exhaust clamps. Now I want to make sure these clamps are towards the end of the muffler. That way the the parts that are cut out of the muffler can clamp down and get a really good um, seal on the, the header pipe. And then once that's done, I'll go ahead and tighten up my transmission brackets. And I'll use my Allen wrench to tighten it down. I don't want to use that ball Allen because it will uh, strip out the bolt if I put too much torque on it. And then go ahead and tighten up that half inch nut. And wipe down my fingerprints. I don't want fingerprints on the new stainless steel. It'll discolor it. Even though it's getting a heat shield, still you don't want to leave your fingerprints. And then go ahead and route the... O2 sensors the correct way and plug them in. I don't show that I get some zip ties, but I zip tie all this down. I didn't record that for some reason. And then we'll go ahead and do the heat shields. So I'll do the rear and the front one. Get them installed and then tighten them down about 80%. I don't want to go super crazy tightening them down because they usually need to be adjusted with the, um, in this case, the crossover section of the of the heat shields. Just right where my right hand is there, there's a little seam there, and you want to try to make that as, as neat as possible. And then tighten everything down. And I'll usually tap it with my hand just to make sure if I hear any rattles, then I know an exhaust clamp is, is loose, so I need to take care of that. So, easy peasy. All right, got the exhaust all installed, so let's see how it sounds. Sony header pipe, SNS slip-ons, great sound. Jim's Maxell V-Twin cam, real nice.